Hello, this is Kevin Benedict, SMAC Analyst with Cognizant. SMAC's the acronym for Social, Mobile, Analytics, and Cloud. I have the privilege of spending time today with Gene Signorini. Did I say it right? All right. <laughs> Thanks, Gene. Gene, you've been with Yankee Group. You're now with Mobiquity. You're the Vice President of Mobile Insight. You got it. Yep. That's a cool title, by the it's way. It's a cool title. I don't know, you know. Did you get to make it up yourself? No, I didn't actually. So, uh, actually, all that means is I, I work with our, our clients on strategic consulting engagements, but I've kind of got a dual role. So, given my experience and background as an analyst, I am responsible for keeping on top of the key yeah. trends and research that we need to help our clients and also doing some external thought leadership activities. So I, think I you get need to play better, both sides of it a little bit. That's a great role. I think you need to change your story, though, because you should just take the credit for that name. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gene, um, you've been in the industry. You've witnessed it. You've written a lot about it. Let me ask you this question. How have you seen the enterprise mobility market evolve from 2011 to 2012 to 2013, what are some of the big things that you're seeing, you've seen change over that period of time and that are kind of new this year? Yeah, I, I think that's a great question. I, I think the biggest changes, and really in the last 18, 24 months, we've seen a, I hate to use the term inflection point because it's overused, but I, I really do think we've seen an inflection point. I do think we've seen an inflection point. I do think we've seen an inflection point in this concept of enterprise mobility. I think there are two key kind of big changes that have happened. One is that it's broadened, meaning that for most businesses, when we talked about enterprise mobility three years ago, four years ago, it was still very um, siloed and limited within the organization, right? It either meant field force or field service or mm -hmm. very specific projects or things like mobile email for a certain set of the organization. And that's broadened tremendously, right? I mean, the first broadening of it was the whole concept of consumerization, but I think it's beyond that now. Even companies are starting to, to be aware that okay, mobility is a, is a big fundamental shift in the computing environment, and so therefore it's going to have impact across our organization, right? Externally, internally, you know, it's it's fundamentally changing computing. So it's, it's broadened. I think the second way it's changed is that there's a heightened sense of urgency for a lot of companies. Whereas in the past, mobile was, okay, something we can think about and maybe do if we want to be an innovative company. Whereas today, there are a lot of companies who have a sense of urgency that if they don't have a mobile strategy, they are either falling behind competitively um, or they're not servicing their constituents, right, whether those are customers or internal. And we're starting to see a little bit of that urgency. So customers coming to us um, potentially because they've seen a, a, a competitor of theirs has a mobile solution and now they need to know what to do because the executive, you know, even at the CEO or president level has come down and said, we absolutely need to have a mobile strategy. Now you're in charge of yeah. that, you know. Yeah. And so there's an urgency, a personal urgency to kind of figure it out. So I think it's that urgency. And it's the broadening of it, right? So it's pretty exponential, right? It's been an exponential shift of where it was just a couple of years ago. I focus a lot on social, mobile, analytics, and cloud. Yeah. Uh, and Cognizant looks at that and we say, you know, you can't really separate those four no. anymore. Do you agree with we, that? We absolutely agree. And we, we say the same thing. And, and we call it this new computing stack, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, I think, and I think that's important, right, those elements together. Because it's not just mobile. Um, that's changing it. Because if it was, then you could say, okay, well, mo mobile devices are just a different endpoint. You yeah. know, so, you know, laptops are a, a different mobile screen, device. A second a different screen. screen, right? <laughs> and, 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 and in some cases, it's true. They're a different screen. They're a different type of computing device. But it's not just the device that's changing. It's all, all the parts of the computing stack that are being influenced, right? As you said, the social aspect of it, the, um, the analytics, which is critically important in, in mobile but, yeah. but also everywhere, right? Yeah. This ability to kind of, and, and we've talked about this in past, you and I, this concept of real time, yeah. right? And analytics play a huge uh, component in that, as well as cloud. So, and in and, and the mobility space, it just seems to go hand in hand. Uh, as we said, certainly on the consumer side, um, you know, social and mobile, you know, are completely intertwined as right. well as cloud. I mean, yep. delivery of content is all on, on cloud, and I think the same impact is going to happen on the enterprise side. Gene, I want to thank you so much for sharing with us today. Kevin, as always, it's great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.